Hey everyone, this is Brandon's Movie Corner, and it's time for a VHS, DVD, and Blu-ray update for August 21st, 2020. And in this update video, I'm going to show a total of 21 VHSs, 10 DVDs, and 1 Blu-ray. On Tuesday, I received one of the VHSs that I ordered from eBay last week. And today, I got... All the other stuff you're going to see in this update at the Berlin Farmer's Market in Berlin, New Jersey. Now, I do have one other VHS coming in for eBay that I ordered last week, but unfortunately, it's coming late because of problems with USPS. So, when it does come, I'll show it in another update video. But without further ado, let's get started. And... The first 11 VHSs you're going to see in this update are all... All in the Family Collector's Edition VHSs from Columbia House. And I'm going to show these in stock number order. This first one's called Archie vs. Mike. And I've actually never watched All in the Family before, but I know this is meant to be a classic sitcom from the 70s, so I'm going to have to give these a watch sometime. August 10th, 2000. This one's called In a Pickle. Now at first at the, um, the one thrift store at the Berlin Farmer's Market that I saw this at, I saw this on a shelf. At first, this was the only one, the only All in the Family collection tape I saw at first, but then later on I found a box with all the other ones, so I decided to get those as well. August 2nd, 2000. Personality Traits, the title of this one. May 17th, 2001. Crime Doesn't Pay. February 23rd, 2001. Men and Women. March 6th, 2001. Money, money. January 22nd, 2001. Now these first six All in the Family Collector Edition tapes were all originally released in 1993. While the last um, five were all originally released in 1995, but however, they're all much later printings, as you can tell. This one's called Couplehood. March 27th, 2001. Typical Archie. August 25th, 2001. 
Love and War. May 17th, 2001. Women of the House. November 5th, 2001. And here's the last Saul in the Family Collector's Edition tape, which is called The King of Queens. Not to be confused with the sitcom starring Kevin James. Yeah, and some of these cases are not in very good condition, as you can tell. November 6, 2001. So, all of these tapes are later printings from either 2000 or 2001. And now all the rest of the tapes I'm going to show are in slip cases. This was the very first movie to be released by Fox Searchlight Pictures. The sixth week of 1996. This one's a former Ralph and Blockbuster, and the Blockbuster date is June 29th, 2005. The 17th week of 2000. This one's a key video release. Originally in 1988, VHS, but this is a much later reprint. The label says 1990, and it was printed in the 38th week of 1994. So, I do not know if this will still have the key video logo or if it will have the Fox video logo, but I'll find out eventually. I also have the original Grease on DVD, and that movie's a classic. This one, on the other hand, I know a lot of people said this one was not very good. But this was cheap, and my mom and I... Well, my mom's a really big fan of the original, and I like the original movie too. So I thought, why not? I'll just go ahead and pick it up. This VHS was originally from 1990. But this is a reprint from Ice High 7. And I did not notice this at first, but there's a little speck of mold right there. But since it's just a small amount, maybe I could try to clean it. But if all else fails, I can try to find a better condition copy down the road. 39th week of Ice High 7. This is a remake of the original 1979 version of The In-Laws, which I have the Criterion Collection Blu-ray of that movie. This remake is from 2003. August 30th, 2003. Former rental from Hometown Video in Sicklerville, New Jersey. This next one is a promotional copy. And this was brand new sealed when I got it. I believe this is my first um, Republic Pictures Home Video demo tape. And this tape's in EP mode. November 24th, 1992. 
has printing, so we all know what this will have at the end. 13th week of 1993, former rental from LA Video. Box in this one, box for this one is in horrible condition, as you can see. This is another former Alvin Blockbuster, this time purchased on April 24th, 2002. And this one also does have a little bit of mold on it. Wait. Yeah, it's got a little bit of mold right there, as you can see. I was not aware of this when I got it because the tape was taped to the box. Yeah, and there's some white stuff on the um, tape window right here, but that's not mold. But just like with the Grease 2 tape, maybe I'll see if I could possibly clean this, but if not, I may get a better condition copy somewhere down the road. And print date is December 23rd, 2001. And yeah, it still says copyright 2001 on the back. I was just seeing whether or not it was a 2001 or 2002 VHS. Now on the VHS box here, it has the MCA home video logo. But, the tape itself is actually from MCA Video Cassette Inc. So I believe this is one of the last MCA Video Cassette Inc. releases before they changed their name to MCA Home Video. And let's see if I can see what the print date is on this tape. Let me look. Um, yeah, I was able to reveal the print date. July 16th, 1983. And now the last VHS for the update. This is the one that came in from eBay on Tuesday, August 18th. I ordered it on Thursday, August 13th. Yep, this is the extremely rare 2006 VHS of Medea's Family Reunion, the movie. Apparently one of the only tapes to use the um, 2006 Lionsgate logo. And this is allegedly a Canadian copy because it has a Made in Canada sticker right there. The print date is July 28th, 2006. So this is officially the latest print date I have on a VHS. And if you look closely in the print, it says rental, even though this tape was not a former rental. But yeah, I was very lucky to find this tape on eBay. So that's all the VHSs for the update. And now on to the DVDs. I know there also is a VHS release of this movie, but it's but it's extremely, extremely hard to find. But I know Dr. Seuss Lover has it and he uploaded the opening to it. And that tape actually also has the 2006 Lionsgate logo as well. Plus, I hear this movie's supposed to be really good. So when I saw the DVD, I thought I'd pick it up. Because I highly doubt I'd be able to find it on VHS anytime soon. This next one's a double feature DVD. I also do have Bram Stoker's Dracula on VHS, but my copy of it has a lot of mold on it. And I was eventually gonna get a better condition copy of it, which I did because I got it on DVD. Mary Shelley's Frankenstein on the other hand, that movie I did not own in my collection until now. This double feature DVD sets from 2010. 
It has the original owner's name and address in there. Here's the DVD for Dracula, for Dracula, which is from 2005. And the disc for Mary Shelley's, Mary Shelley's Frankenstein, which is from 2003. This is another Fox Searchlight Pictures movie. Side A is the widescreen version, side B is the full screen version. And this is a former rental from WoW Video in Sewell, New Jersey. Former rental from Blockbuster. The Blockbuster date is January 16th, 2007. And this actually comes in a PlayStation 2 case, oddly enough. Because it's got the um, memory card holder right there. Even though I do not have a PS2 or any other PlayStation console. But I think that's pretty cool nonetheless. I've seen bits and pieces of this show, and from what I saw, it is, it is good. And this is meant to be another classic sitcom. This is a very short season, because it had only six episodes. Now here's the last DVD. And finally the one and only Blu-ray. This was previously purchased at Goodwill, but Obviously, I did not get this at Goodwill. I got this at the um, Danny Dell's Discount Thrift Store inside the Berlin Farmer's Market, the indoor part. The outdoor flea market was not open today because I think it's only open on Saturdays and Sundays. But the indoor flea market is open Thursdays through Sundays. Here's the Blu-ray and the digital copy disc. And because this is an older Sony Pictures Blu-ray, it has artwork inside the case. And the digital copy expired on December 29th, 2010.
And that's going to do it for this VHS DVD and Blu-ray update for August 21st, 2020. And once I get my last tape from eBay, I'll show it hopefully in the next update. But until then, this is Brandon's Movie Corner signing off.